Hey everyone, it's Helena here. Prioritization is the biggest challenge for many product teams. In this video, we're going to show you how to manage and prioritize your endless list of items with AirFocus. Our different prioritization features help you make objective and data-informed decisions on what to build or do next. Let's get started with the AirFocus home screen. This is where you see and access all of your workspaces. When creating a new workspace, you can select from a variety of templates that are based on proven prioritization methodologies, such as the product scoring, the rice scoring, or the weighted shortest job first scoring. These templates provide a useful framework and can help you get started fast, but don't worry about them too much. You can always customize them to your liking later. Up next, let's have a look at our Voom Video App Workspace as an example. As product managers, we all know that there are way more items on your list and backlog than you can actually afford to do. You need a repeatable process to objectively identify which of these items you should or should not do. In AirFocus, we have different tools that help you with prioritization. Today, we will be looking at the Priority Ratings app, which allows you to set up a customizable prioritization framework. The Priority Ratings app can also be paired with the Priority Poker app, but we'll cover that in another video. Now, I'm going to show you what the app can do. In this example, you have the item in-app messages that you now want to prioritize against a set of strategic criteria. Based on the template and the prioritization settings you've chosen, the Priority Ratings app now adds prioritization factors and criteria to your workspace. In our example, we have two value criteria. Customer value, which is measured in t-shirt sizes, and reach, which is of type percentage. On the effort side, we use person days as a criteria. It's a general number. You can see from the arrow that the effort factor is a negative factor, which means lower values are better. The third and last factor, revenue, also has one criteria and we measure it on a 0 to 10 scale. As you can see on the table, a lot of the values have been entered already. Our item, in-app messages, has not been rated yet. Let's complete the ratings for this item and let our algorithms calculate your priority score. Remember that effort was a negative factor? That's why when I enter a relatively high value here, the bar turns red. And voila! You can see the priority score here. The score is a North Star metric that helps you make informed decisions throughout the AirFocus views and beyond. It indicates how important an item is compared to other items. Now that all the items have been organized and rated, let's switch to the chart view. The chart allows you to get a bird's eye perspective on your product strategy and priorities. With this chart, you can visualize the importance of each item on a 2x2 two two grid with the value factor on the Y and the effort on the X axis. Revenue is represented in the bubble size. You can find your high value, low effort items, your quick wins in the top left and your don't do's in the bottom right. With this bird's eye perspective, you're equipped to make high impact decisions on what to do and when. Let's now move on to customizing your prioritization framework. You can do all the customization by accessing the app from the app section. The prioritization settings page is divided into three sectors. Scoring mode, factor weights, and criteria weights. The workspace template you've chosen already comes with some great out-of-the-box defaults. In most cases, you don't have to adjust them at all. Let's start with the scoring mode. Here you can define the general structure of the framework. We recommend using the custom weighting option. If you want a highly advanced prioritization framework, you can switch to custom formula. 
In the factor weight section, you can adjust the influence of the Y, X, and R factors on the focus score using the sliders. To change factor details like name, description, or scoring direction, simply click on the factor name. Most of the prioritization settings are set on default and work out of the box, but you can customize them here. In the Criteria Weights section, you can manage the criteria for each of your factors. You can add new ones, change their details by clicking on the criteria name, or adjust the sort order. Here, you can choose from a variety of value types, which are different ways to measure a given criteria. You can also adjust the influence of your criteria on its factor, which then also affects their influence on the focus score. As you can see, you can customize all aspects within the prioritization framework, which brings us to the next point, which is custom formula. Here you can play with the different factor and criteria variables to customize the different scores, including the focus score. This standardized and repeatable approach to prioritization will significantly help you make better product decisions and create clear priority-based roadmaps. It's always a good idea to involve other stakeholders in the prioritization process. This is when our Priority Poker app comes in handy, which we'll be covering in the next video. That's it for now. See you in the next video and happy planning.